<laughs> so, you know you're in trouble when the foreman walks up to you and goes, oh, hey, man, you recording stuff? Just doing the before and after? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, ain't even worth it, man. This place ain't even worth it. And I go, oh. Uh. I go, dude, when I bought it, I go, I only knew that the one part of the basement was falling over, not those three separate areas, let alone the whole front of it. He goes, oh, shit, you're the owner? <laughs> he was being completely honest with me. He's like, this, this house ain't worth it, man. This house ain't worth it. Get rid of it. But I just thought that was hysterical. The dude working on it was just like, my man, this is not, this ain't worth your time. AC, welcome back. Basement Jesus did not bless the house well at all. Um, Basement Jesus went and uh, took a hiatus for a little bit. So it was like, it was like two, or, two and a half dumpster loads. Lot, lot of loads, lot of loads in that load. I've got, a new, I've got a new videographer here today and it's Molly. Molly, give me the camera, give me the camera. We're going to a crack house and Molly dresses up in guest jeans and she had like quilted leather boots on and she put makeup on to go to a crack house. We went in the house and uh, we cleaned it out. I had a buddy of mine clean it out from a company, very nice. It cost over $3,000 just to get the trash out. Three grand just to get the trash out. And after that happened, we went through it to kind of look at some things and see what we needed to get done and what could be saved. And one of the issues was that the basement was worse than what we saw. So, yeah, you're like, oh, that's gonna be worse. It's like 10 feet of basement that fell down. You're like, eh, that's as worse as it can get. No, 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 it got worse. Um, and we'll show you that. But there were some issues. And uh, one of those issues was that the foundation was far worse than what I originally saw. Uh, I don't have a cool cameraman to help me out today. This is the first time I'm going to see the home with them working on the foundation. Let's just look at it together. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my fucking God. Um, where's uh, there's, there's nothing out there. Uh, because right now, the entire front of the basement uh, had to get pulled out. Like the entire front and 10 feet on either side had to get fucking ripped out because you could just judo chop your hand through it like some loose street walker, $5 for a handy. And you're like, well, what will $20 get me in? Wah, wah, and you could just do that. That was the basement wall. I don't know if it would make wah, wah sound. It'd probably sound more like mac and cheese. Just we're gonna go through the we're gonna go through the house, kind of show you some of the damage that's left over even after uh, we took all the shit out of it. What is this? What's that? Oh, this is an old oil drum that hid in the basement and basically the um, the front right corner of the building. So so we we had we had the wall that was all like fucked up and caved in, yeah. and that was on the front corner. And on the opposite front corner, once we cleaned everything out, you could see through the wall onto the driveway. Like you could see through the cracks in the mortar and like stick your hand through it like a judo chop and shake the tire of the car that's parked in the driveway. Um, and this was in it. The guys here thankfully pulled it out. But they needed two bobcats in order to fix my shit. Here I am, a few days in the past, going down the basement steps where Basement Jesus originally was found. And this was the second issue that we found over there on the right. You can see the rest of the front of the basement foundation got ripped out, and that's where the original wall had fallen in over there where those men are standing where that old wall is currently at. Uh, but it wasn't until we removed that big massive oil drum and had to remove basement Jesus' wall that we found out that this side had massive holes in it and had to be removed. And here it looks now. So yeah, that was when I had to call up my foundation guy again. But let's go in the backyard. This is my back deck. Oh my God. Um, it's actually built fairly well, but as you'll see, it leads to nothing. <laughs> 
It's like Skyrim. You just come up over here and you, you walk around a little bit, you know, looking for like ale or some guy, and then you just like go into the the building. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, beer, I'm like on the other side looking at the window giving you a beer. What does this say? Oh, what does it say? I didn't see you this. like it here. Asshole. Oh, we got new secret messages. Hope you like it here. Asshole. But they put a smiley face. This is, this is, this is the still frame of the entire episode. Hope you like it here, asshole. I do. I like it a lot. <laughs> well, I don't. I forgot what joke I was going to make about this. Bambi took his mom's death hard, started using the crack. Yeah, this is what happens when you use crack, kids. Your head falls off. A crack den. Ah. <laughs> Why? I've got a, I've got a ladder back here. The yellow one. I've got some recycling totes. So, once again, this house is paying for itself. Oh, I've got a wheelbarrow. Wow, they could have used that to take the trash out, but they didn't, because they're pieces of shit. We got an old Toro weed whacker and a snowmoke blower. This place, this is made out of old doors. No, it's not. All four walls are old doors. <laughs> Look at this, go ahead, get in there. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna end up in Narnia. They just took two by fours and just nailed oh the doors God. to them. Those are doors. Oh, you're touching an electrical wire. <laughs> It's, no, it's just a cable line. You want to test it with your tongue? Kind of. I don't. Um, well, we'll just put that in. There. Okay. All right. Dear. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's the lawn fairy. I think she lost her head too. Oh my gosh, she lost her hand. Does She's nobody like, in this place have heads? Nobody lives here. This is where everybody comes to die. Um, this is this is Star Sparkle. <laughs> she is the fairy of the backyard. Um, unfortunately, she was a crip, and this is the blood area, very blood heavy. So, you know, sorry, homie. My fofo makes sure all your kids don't grow. So this is. The other issue that we've discovered with the back of the house is that um, there was literally a fist size hole that I could fist fuck, which we'll splice that in now. I'm not sure which side. Um, but yeah, this was falling in. So it was uh, another hole in the basement uh, kind of sprouted up. Let me see if I can't put this down there. Put you down deep in here. So we've got the footer started. Took out another section of wall. I'm getting a better idea of when we get down there. Oop. Come with me and you'll see a crack filled with dead imagination. <laughs> Looks like um a quiet place. So they scratch up the walls. Yes. What the fuck happened here? So Oh yeah, we already got that. Crackheads, that's what happened here. Yeah, crackheads, that's what happened here. So, oh my god. So this is the kitchen. There used to be crap all over here. There's outdoor carpeting on the floor right now because that's what people do. But as we round this corner, this is where the computer and all, just a whole bunch of crap was. It covered up the entire floor and included the crap carpeting, just like the entire house. Won't you join me in looking at what all the water damage did to the floor? <gasps> so, so this was filled with crap. The, the entire house is filled with crap. We already know that. Um, but now we're gonna look at the fantastic damage. This was a savable floor. If you had rickets, this would be your spine, just all. Or like the gout and like a fat person's ankles. Um, this, this house has an STD. I was, uh, I was tearing up the carpet, watched with it. <laughs> oh my god, I just so much fell. <laughs> you almost fell on your ass. Oh yeah, so my garbage guy, I was like, hey, you got all the trash out, let's, let's rip this carpet up. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And I'm like, can you take the, dra the drawers out of the kitchen cabinets and we'll throw those out too. And he's like, okay. And then 
uh, he had stopped because a city inspector came over and was just like, hey, you are doing demo and you need a permit. And I'm like, how is ripping up carpet demo and taking drawers out of the kitchen demo? I'm not demolishing anything. I'm removing items, yeah, but that's not demo. So I gotta get a permit on top of the permit that I have for the basement, but you need a different permit. You get a permit for the basement, but it's not the same permit as the upstairs. Home ownership, you need a permit for the basement, you need a permit for plumbing, you need a permit for electricity, you need so many permits, you can start pulling them out of your ass, and then you need a permit for pulling shit out of your ass. Join me in adulting, won't you? This is where the couch was. It's the nicest part of the floor. Like, this is what the floor could have looked like. But this is the reason why the floor was so fucked up, is because they kicked a hole in the radiator. They just beat this thing until it broke. And the radiator just leaked jizz out everywhere. Just it's old, crappy, iron, rusty water just came gushing out like all the ladies when they watch my Military Word of the Day videos. Hey. So, so not only do I have to rip up the floors, I gotta replace a 5,000 pound radiator built in 1810. Oh no. The, I put this door back together and now it's just off. It, it, it honestly got it looks like somebody took like animal intestine, dumped it in green paint, and then just like stuck it on the wall. Like a fucking psychopath. I'm just like, I killed a rabbit for you, mama, and I'm gonna make the walls pretty cold. Oh. This is the bedroom that had a lot of porn in it actually. I don't know if we got we didn't get it on a video last time. There was a stack of porn in this bedroom. In the closet, allow me to show you some of the electrical advantages that come with owning a home. Join me in the closet. So there's a light bulb up there, up there, and you'll notice there's just a random extension cord wire coming from it, right? Well, let me show you what it's attached to. A switch, but not any switch. Just a normal fucking switch with no protection. Just random, random electrics spliced together in a fashion that would cause a fire. So yeah, that, that's, so we got somebody that doesn't know how to fix things that also hoards crap and does a lot of crack cocaine on the side and now they're like, oh, I can do electricity. I know how that works. <laughs> Let me turn this on and off again. <laughs> I do like the push buttons. They're really cool. Bad news though, I have knob and tube. And no, that's not an STD, that's just really old electrical work. Oh, let me tell you what we're gonna do with the bathroom. Come on in. Yeah. Stay, get in, get in the dirty shower. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it might fall through. Oh, you, no, you made the microphone touch the side. I'm sorry. Uh, you made the microphone touch the side. Ew, you it's probably so got the, like. It's got, it's got the coronavirus on it now. It's gonna be, um. Super easy. Ooh, ooh. The fuck is that? Oh, that's, um, um, used butt crack juice. The bathroom just has the wood floor because, you know, who, who, who needs tile? Who needs tile in a bathroom? You just need the wood floor, because whatever. And we already know about the stow your crack hole. But because this bathroom is so weirdly put together with this corner sink where my calf grinds against the toilet, this is gonna get ripped out. The toilet's gonna probably stay there. The, so the shower that you're in is gonna stay where it's at. We're gonna, we're gonna rip it out. But what we're gonna do is, I'll show you in the other room, is we're gonna take this wall out where our radiator is. We're gonna keep the radiator there but we're gonna take this wall out, and we're gonna take this wall out, and we're gonna push it back, because right behind it is a closet. So the third room is no longer gonna have a closet, it's just gonna be a study, or a, I don't know, a masturbatory chamber for you and your lady friends. And we're gonna make a massive stand-up shower, like a five by four shower with some tile and make it look good and a little bit more breathing space in the bathroom. Oh. Are you gonna keep the seashell toilet cap? Well, yeah, who wouldn't keep the, te the seashell toilet cap? It keeps I mean, the like, blue ocean theme of the room down Well, yeah, this, this is gonna be, this is my, uh, this is my little mermaid bathroom. 
So. We've got crackheads and needles aplenty. <laughs> We've got crackheads and needles and crack. I forget how the the, uh, the melody of that goes. Otherwise, I would do another song. <laughs> the good thing about <clears throat> up here is that I can save the floors. They just rolled out laminate on the floor, and that's that's it. McConaughey. McConaughey. Related to Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. Probably. How's it go? That's that's not McConaughey. I think that's McConaughey. McConaughey. Hey. McConaughey. 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 This is five thousand reward for him. Uh, for robbing some uh, some train. Why am I reading this? There's no there's no handle on the door. This is the wall I'm gonna blow out into the bathroom, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna extend the bathroom this way, which is like eighteen inches, and making this just. Uh, I don't know, a studio for you to make YouTube videos, or whoever, whatever the hell it's gonna be in here. I don't know. A place for your dreams to die and be haunted by the hanging lady from Red House. Red Room? Whatever that show was on Netflix. We already got the rope for you. Look, more laminate. Oh my god, there's more carpeting! No! No, that's laminate! It just, it's just got a, it's just got a thing. Stop it. Is it a second layer of laminate? Yes, it looks like a carpet, but it's not. What is wrong with people? For the vultures. I guess this is vulture room. This is the vulture room. I can't get over this. Who doesn't take up the first laminate before they put the second one down? So here's the thing, right? In this city, I've noticed this a lot. They had nice hardwood floors, and they were like, oh, you know what? I want it to look different. I don't want to sand it. I'm just going to put down laminate. It's easy. It'll cover it up. So in, mostly in the kitchens or the bathrooms, you'll have them put down a laminate. And then, as years go by, the laminate looks like shit, and they're like, well, what am I gonna do? And because it's already stuck to the ground, you've already got the base down, the, the base laminate, the one that's already there, you clean it up, maybe, and then, and then you put your, your second laminate right on top of it. But what ends up happening is that you have three or four layers of laminate on the fucking floor, and then I buy your house, and then I have to jerry it all up, and it's it's heavy as shit. I did that in the old house. Uh, there was three layers of laminate in the kitchen, and it took me forever to get it all up because not only was there a laminate, but sometimes they would put like quarter inch plywood in and just staple it down everywhere with a million fucking staples, and then I gotta like pry all those up. So it makes you want to kill yourself. And yeah, you know, I don't know what I want to do with this room. Like, I don't know if I want to just board this up and make and open this up and make the master bedroom bigger, or just leave, I probably should just leave it. I'm wasting enough money as it is. I'm just gonna have a cool little study. Why does the laminate look like carpet? Because they're evil people. They don't want you to actually have a carpet that you have to clean. I mean, think about it. Actually, it's brilliant. You don't want to clean your carpet, right, ladies? I'm sure. Put a laminate down. Instead of taking care of your carpet, and then you just, you know, it's wipe and go. Why have to vacuum and wash and trim a rug when you can just mop it up? So laminate is like laser hair remo removal for your snatch. Laminate flooring is like Mexican laser hair removal on your snatch. Got it. You think you're getting a bargain, but in the end result, you're just gonna end up having a, a bigger issue. If you're wondering why I'm standing out here in the cold, freezing my balls off, it's because the crack house doesn't have heat right now. And you can help me out with that by purchasing a This Old Crack House shirt, much like this. It comes in a bunch of different colors. And for every shirt that you buy, I get less and less in debt for this horrible decision that I made. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, why should I help out this idiot for making a poor life choice? And I hear you. Trust me, I do. But consider this. You're watching my horrible, miserable existence and getting off in it. So consider it more of a trade as you get to see me suffer and laugh at my horrible inconvenience of buying this home and sinking into debt in exchange for a cool t-shirt and stickers. So there's that. All right. Some local congressman better shake my hand for fixing up this turd. A little bit, just need a POB. Little, 
little pat on the back right there for good old angry cops. You know, funny story, I end up running into Matt from Demolition Ranch. And God bless him if he isn't just as nice as he is in the videos. Angry Cops, nice to meet you. Demo Ranch, big fan. He goes, yeah. He goes, I see you're copying me. I'm like, I'm like say that again? He's like, uh, you bought a crack house. He goes, I bought one first. I'm like, bro, I guarantee you my crack house is worse. And he's like, yeah, that looked pretty bad. Even Demo Ranch Matt is telling me I should give up on this house. I'm pretty sure he also made a joke about why would you even buy a house in a place that it snows. We're not all making that demo ranch money, man. It doesn't matter, we're all gonna die anyway.